Hey everyone, and welcome to episode one of D and D Sandbox. I am Alex, and I will be the DM for this series. Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> what up? I'm OJ. Ooh. I'm Campbell. Hey, I'm Emma. Amazing. So, what is the ethos, the vibe, the energy of D and D Sandbox? Well, this crazy cast of characters I call my friends, uh, they love a goof and they certainly love a gap. And heck, I do too. <laughs> All too often, uh, they get enchanted, enraptured by some random NPC or some <laughs> innocuous throwaway world building comment, and that becomes the focus of the next half an hour, the next couple sessions, or <laughs> the entire campaign. Uh, no specific reference there. Um, as a DM, I love to enable this, and I want them to engage and unpack any part of the world, any part of the campaign that they want to. Uh, everyone here is excellent writers and actors, and their ability to write... <laughs> Their ability to write uh, world war or NPC backgrounds is just as good as me, so I may as well take on those additions and make it canon, uh, which is what I do. This isn't my world in my campaign, it's our world, and we're building it together. <laughs> Play Soviet thing. <laughs> uh, with this said, uh, with this said, this isn't, you know, to mean that there isn't a bunch of pre-written content. There's tons and tons of pre-written content. So we can go to the Elgarin province map, which is the area that they will be starting in. So uh, every building that you see and every like cluster or individual isolated building has its own town map associated. And with that, it has its own characters, its own stories, its own quests, its own ecosystems, all of which is ready to be discovered. And when they go to a place, there'll be a plot that can be unraveled. And if they want to, they can do that, or they cannot, and that's their choice, and that's 100% A-OK, and that's the very sandbox nature of this campaign. But that's enough about the type of campaign you can expect. Let's find out who this wonderful, exceptional cast will be playing for this campaign. Emma, what's up with you? What are the chances? Hello, my name is Astrid S. Willavale. I am a halfling rogue, actually one of the best in Corlax, so I assume that's the best in the world, basically. Uh, you might know me from Wood Hill Tavern. Uh, I'm actually the stage manager there. I, I uh, kind of manage who's presenting each night. We get lots of different talents, really important job, so you probably know me from that. Um, I'm pretty stealthy, naturally. Um, I really like going after, yeah, I really like <laughs> going after the bad guys and basically winning. Um, and I'm, I'm very keen for an adventure, and I think I might have found some cool people to go on adventure with, so I, I really hope they like me. I mean, generally people do, so we'll see. So. <laughs> Thank you. I will. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Rox. Last name, Ox. Um, my family's been in Corlax for generations on a homestead just outside of town, Little Hill, called The Valley. Um, there's me, my dad Brax, my mum Brex, my brothers Brix and Brux, and our half brother Brix. Um, you know, I love farm work and I love farming and I love the family and everything, but sometimes I look out the horizon and I say, maybe there's more in this world than just farming and manual labour. And my dad says, yes, there's a whole town and there's forests and hills and trees. And I say, yes, but something more. And he never really gets where I'm going. And then I stumbled into a couple of nice people, some I didn't really know, and some I kind of knew from around town. And, um, well, I uh, thought I'd better get some adventure on. And uh, I have, I'm not really good at many things. I can hit things and I'm pretty strong. And that's about where my talents lie. Um, yeah, so that's me. Um, but I'm Brox. That's me. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Brox, and that's me. Awesome. Wait, wait. Uh, you Brox? I'm Brox. Oh, oh, I, mean, I missed that. That was oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm Brox. Oh, yes. oh, 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 and that is right. me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. 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 Yes. Please, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Brox. 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 Good stuff. Brox. Brox. <laughs> Good. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, I am Modric McBoogle. Everyone likes to call me Body. I am uh, 19. Uh, I'm a budding adventurer, but most importantly, I am a thespian. 
Uh, and uh, you know, I was homeschooled uh, for most of my life. Um, not from Paul Lax, but I've arrived, arrived here recently because I'm interested, you know, um, to get, in, get into some adventures and find out more about myself. Um, and we will reveal more as the story goes along, won't we? So, uh, that's me. That felt like it. You <laughs> leaned in and said, what we? <laughs> We're going to pretend like I didn't say that, and we're going to keep No, this. no. Sorry, guys, <laughs> 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 I'm done. I'm done. Zoom <laughs> and enhance. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me. Wait, Tom and Pete. Cool. It's Tom and Pete. <laughs> His real name. Hi, I'm Keir Voidstone. Um, every time. I'm, uh, I'm a 23 year old Aladdin wizard, and I come from the southern of East Rock. I was raised by my parents, Lynn and Yeah, um, who raised me and my brother, Mal, uh, in the academic arts. Uh, essentially, my talents and my interests lie within magic and history and academia. So, a lot of my travels recently have brought me into Corlax to um, get an indication of more worldly and down to earth things. There's no worldly and down to earth sort of place than Corlax. And I've happened to have stumbled into uh, <laughs> a, a, few, <laughs> a few individuals here who have um, given me a lot to learn um, in one way or another. So, that's me. Awesome, it's awesome. Cool, so before we begin, let's do a little bit about the War of the Worlds. Uh, so about 200 years ago, there was this enormous event called Nature's Review. Uh, most of the continent was decimated, destroyed, and since then, uh, most society has just been about rebuilding. Where the campaign starts in the province of Elgarin, uh, most towns and cities are maximum 60 years old, and it's mostly new settlements. There's abandoned ruins everywhere, migration is really high, and adventuring parties are inherent as a part of society. And this party is one of those adventuring parties. Uh, they got together because uh, some apes in town attacked boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the town tasked them with hunting down and finding the culprit, and this investigation led to them stumbling upon the Casco Academy for adventurers, where they met the founder and leader, Casco, who divulged that uh, they believe the culprit is one of their acolytes, uh, Lakia, and said that they would take responsibility from them. But the party has been uh, training, preparation, and learning from the academy for the last month. If you are interested in watching that and everything I just explained, we did five sessions of what we've referred to as the prologue. Uh, which was mainly done to learn the sort of production side of things and make sure we had everything on that perspective wrapped up and learning characters and things like that. Uh, all five episodes are released on the channel as of now, uh, but this episode right now is 100% the intended starting point for you, the viewer, and as your entryway. But with that said, let's fade into the campaign where the party has been uh, at the Castro Academy for Adventurers for the last month. Uh, you've been training, doing martial training, learning arcana and magic related things and survival techniques and stuff like that. But at the moment, we're doing more of a fun, casual team building exercise, which is a competition challenge, yes. uh, which you're not 100% sure what the prize is. It's a mystery. Is it excellent? Is a trash you don't know. Well, you've been up tasked to make an outfit for the Academy's resident dog, Angie. Angie? Angie. Wait, sorry, I missed it. I was just wondering. Angie. Oh. What do we have to do for Angie? <laughs> you have to make them an outfit. Oh, we have to make them an outfit. Mm, okay. Cool, I guess that was the rehearsal. Cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, We're just gonna. I mean, we could have. We can just start. Well, I, was, I was. I thought we actually done. I thought we were done. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good. This take. is all part of it. Yeah, we can keep it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we're in the Matrix. Matrix. Get out. Mm. Want to redo that bit? I thought that was good. Mine. All right. I, I, boom, boom, boom. Let's keep it in. Let's wait. Just... Did, what are you going to say? Something? No, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can. No, 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 I did. No. I did pick my nose pretty heavily, so maybe remind me. <laughs> oh, free time. Mm. We're in slow mode. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, shall we just keep going? Yeah. Shall we actual fade into the game? Oh my oh, god! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm freaking out. Low volume. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so there you are. You're inside the academy. 
Uh, you have a bunch of textile supplies in front of you, uh, and you have been tasked to create, as I said, a fun and creative outfit for the resident dog of the Academy, Angie. Mm. Guys, I have to say, I'm so glad we're doing something that's not violent for once. It's actually good to be, you know, creating something fun. Mm. What do you guys think? I'm a bit of a creative cat. You were doing quite well with the scarecrow we made last time. Yeah, well, you know, the thing you got to know about creativity is that you create ivity. So that's what I that's always quite say. Uh, that's quite. Yeah, that's, quite yeah. Fun, that's the um, that's actually that's the logical so root of it. We're going to turn this dog into what, like a cat? That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty, pretty, pretty good joke. How, how are you going to turn into a cat? You guys have magic, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just go? Oh, yeah. cat? I think I that's know. cheating a little bit. Wait, are we working together? I can just or are burn we stuff down against each other. So you're working as a team against the other parties of right. the academy. Well, as has been explained to you before you embarked on this uh, activity. Well, I don't think I don't think that'd be cheating necessarily. It might I be us here. utilizing our good. Fine, thank you. I I, I think it would be utilizing our abilities to the highest potential to be able yeah. to beat the other team. So yeah, I think that's why a we're cat's just a cat. What if we gave gave it like a pants suit and had like little gold inlays? Like we could get little, little sequins. Yeah. Or we could make the outfit for the cat and then make it a cat. Yeah, sure. If you want to. Is it possible to make the dog a cat? Is what I'm wondering. Can we do that? As in transform the cat. As in transform it into a cat. As in transform the cat. We can visually provide them with cat ears, cat tail. We can we visually, visually provide, them provide with cat, ears, cat tails. Right, but it wouldn't be a cat. It wouldn't be a cat. It wouldn't be a cat. Though. I don't have polymorph. I can't change. He doesn't have polymorph. No. The cat or the dog into a cat. No, really. I don't know the extent of my powers at the moment, so I could try and burn it. But that's about it. I don't know if that'd be an outfit so much as the light singeing. Yeah. Perhaps a crime, maybe. I'm gonna take myself out of this conversation. No, no, no. no. We've got to get you trained up. So Were there any not... other parameters for uh... the for the for the outfit for the for the dog? Let me pull out the flyer that has okay. the information. I do like the pants. Here. When you're making the outfit, make it as fun and creative as you want. Mm -hmm. There is no parameters. A rubric is the dogs. Hmm. Well, maybe we do make it. I agree. <laughs> 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 yes, there's a rubric is for dogs, but you provided with a rubric of I like source. rubrics. Oh, there you go, yeah. yeah. But well, there's no other parameters at all. No, there well, were no other parameters. Well, let's go crazy with it. You heard the, the speaking parchment. Yeah, it was incredible. Casco <laughs> uh, really goes all out for these small team building exercises. <laughs> well, <laughs> now I'm thinking. That's hard, Fox. You do great. Yeah, go for it. Come on, you got this. Come on. There's a dog, right? Okay, yes. Yeah, You're and right, uh, yes. when you see a dog, what do you think? You think bones. So make it a skeleton dog. Well, we already discussed that with the bird. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's actually not a bad idea. Can we do that? How, how close are we to any sort of uh, Halloween or All Souls related? Is that well, All Souls Day was about three weeks ago, but um, well, I guess we it's can, still kind of relevant. It's kind of a nostalgic. Let, let's make a nostalgic costume. I have such nostalgia for three weeks ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we can do that. I'm happy with a skeleton if you want. So we're going to make it a skeleton, or are we going to make a skeleton outfit? I could kill it. No. Why do you want to kill it? No, I'm just saying, if you want to make it a skeleton, we can... Well, we'd have to kill yeah. it, skin it, and then revive it. You are all so morbid. <laughs> we can't just oh, construct. I'm just following on with what's being suggested. We can just suggested. construct a. We can construct a. I'm just trying sure. to. Sure. Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> you're quite. De you're quite deft, and you know, you have the capacity to be able to design things, right? Yes. And you two, the jock side, if you will, could. Who's jock? The, the two of you. You know what the jock is, right? I'm pretty no. sure I'm the jock as well. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, you're a jock. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> well, I so. one of the basketball players in high school music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I pretended and I loved it. <laughs> oh. Now, so we decided on the cat or we decided on the skeleton? What about a cat skeleton? I thought we could do a cat skeleton. Could we do a cat skeleton? Ironic and nostalgic. Those are a couple of five dollar words. I don't really know what you mean. Um, <laughs> Because it's a cat. Yes. What well, breed of dog is it? Uh, it's like a medium sized breed. Okay. I'm not good with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cat would be something different. It's local. It's its, its own unique thing. It's yeah. a fantasy one. Yeah. You know, it's a fantasy it's breed. Yeah. It's a Mogovan. And why don't we make Mugovan? it like a <laughs> fire breathing cat skeleton with horns and wings? Oh, that's good. I like that. 
I like that as well. Yeah, that makes pretty fire. We can do that. Can you can do, do that. Of course. I can. No. I, I like that. I, I set it on fire, but I can't. Because no. you were talking about fire. Before. Okay. Yeah, I well, was. Yes, I can. I, I can, can try. Find some sleight of hand. Uh, Illusionary. But you can if you want, but just don't burn the thing. I, I probably should. Might be a bit of a too soon repeat of last yeah. week. Look, when you nearly set the, the cafeteria on fire. Look, it wasn't my fault. I it was your fault. You said, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. And then they started lighting things on fire. No, I didn't. I you said I was really excited for ice cream. And then there was no ice cream. So I got angry. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah no, that does happen. Also, the chef really pissed me off that day. So, he deserved it. Yeah, good old mop. What did he make that day? Yeah. Slop. He made slop. Yeah. Far out. They they give us these incredible continental breakfasts when we arrive, and then they give us slop when we. I mean, I'm quite like slop. You're right. Yeah. It's a good PR campaign, though. Yeah. You'll find out. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't the slop have meat in it? No, I know. I get oats. He gets oats slop. Unbelievable. I just specially requested because the first day they they hand out this meat slop, which is horrible because it's got raw chunks in it. Mm. Anyway, that was my little angry moment, and then I went and punched the chef through it. But um, at least you didn't set the whole cafeteria on fire. No, I did okay. threaten to burn it once down, again, but then realised once it again it was a mistake, an honest mistake, and it will only maybe potentially happen again if he pisses me off and gives me slop again. We've got to work out some coping mechanisms for you. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. We also probably need to apologise to the chef. We also probably need to address this dog. I'm just saying it's been very well behaved. It's just sitting there. No, the dog's <laughs> not there. You've seen the dog before. That's the fabric, and then, for us. That, that's Oh, what? what? It's not a real dog. Maybe that's what we're giving. We mocked that up. That's incredible. Fox, have you seen a dog before? No, never. I didn't. <laughs> Are we not? Not once on your farm. No, we don't have dogs here. Keeping animals? Oh. Well, on a farm? Oh, I keep forgetting. Yes, right. What, do you think that animals are just subservient to you? Yeah, like so they just do let's, your let's bidding. All, let's it's all domestication. Out. Let's all chill out. Dome- domestication. Oh, it's a uh, common agricultural practice, is it not? Uh, Should it cost us fabric? Yeah. Well, they you. Surely. Surely. But you can have free range. They're not necessarily... Free range. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> let's just subject these animals to free range fenced in area. Of course. When no, dogs like, would naturally be roaming hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. You two make sex tracks as you guys have <laughs> 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 Quite what are you keeping sick. dogs for? Dog meat? I mean, what's the what's the what's the policy there? For, for dog meat? No, if a dog can utilize as a as a like those nice it goes by the way. Um, uh, they can utilize as uh, security uh, security against animals against other animals that may in fact want to attack your crop. Oh well, guess what? We don't have any of those problems. Oh really? Yeah. Did you have an imp attack on one of the farms? Not me. That was Gellin. Well. Thanks for bringing him up. I'd just forgotten about him as well. And all of a sudden, these emotions getting well up inside me again. And he's, I'm... he's all right, though, isn't he? Surely. He died. He didn't die. No, he didn't. <laughs> no that was the other guy. Oh, that's that really was the other random guy, guy that, yeah. that none of us yeah, knew. No. Gellin's all right, though, from what I can recall. Unless he succumbed to his wounds. I don't know. I haven't checked in with him and, uh, since we've been here. We, it's kind of weird that we kind of just left. And then we've just been here for a month. Like, we didn't tell anyone we were going to be here. I told oh, my I wrote her. Oh, I should probably say something. I have no one to my back. I'm this. very close to my family, though. I to told them. We need to hire a casual for the stage management. Well, I just asked the, fe- the ferry worker to keep my name. Tim. I hope he hasn't lost it. Sammons? No, that guy slaps. While you guys are having, <laughs> while you guys are having your discussion, uh, you both took a really audacious double scissor approach <laughs> to cut it out. Uh, you having never used two scissors at the same time and having no <laughs> grip on felt, not a particularly you know durable, strong, integrity-based fabric. Hot. It was a little bit, uh, you know, you cut into certain ways, but you managed to get what resembles cat ears. Astrid, on the other hand. <laughs> Crushed it. Oh. You know, with flair and you have wow. thrown in the air. You've done the entire sort of base outside, which could go out. I got, You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the rest of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Was it a cat? Have you seen well, a cat before? Yeah, I've well, seen a cat plenty of times. Oh, no dog. I did a really good job, so it's close to a cat. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no. Well no, done. No, it looks like. Good job, you did. No problem. All right, so uh, what else do we want to accompany the cat dog with? Now, I thought it was a cat skeleton that had wings and could breathe fire. Am it, I mistaken? Oh, yeah. So you guys cut those out real good instead of what I said. When I said cat, I meant cat skeleton. No, no, I can't get that. 
<laughs> well, I guess we're on here. That's all right. Fuck, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, oh. remember, you're gonna, you're gonna I'm sneak. method. I'm method. Oh, my God. Cool. Well, that thing looks like a cat now. To that point, I can. Once again, the dog's not here. Ah, oh, right. Very confusing. Yeah. The, the mound of fabric, I gotta pick it up. It's not, it's not a, not a dog. As you guys are talking, Casco comes in and goes, uh, Hello, you four. Would you be able to come with me? I would like to talk to you about something really important. Hey, what up? Where are you about Yeah, we've got it. Yeah, yeah Vaughty, of course. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a very serious thing. Okay, yeah. We've got to finish the... We're only about halfway yeah. through the, the cat dog. That is good. But I'm impressed. Thanks. The mystery prize might be yours, but seriously. I made it is. You should put them on there. Look how cute. There you go. Mm. Okay. Not anymore, oh, they're just separate ones. They're not in like headbands. No, no, no. Ah, oh. not there. Anyway, no, continue. Sorry. No, please, could you could you come with me? I have something important. It's pretty exciting, honestly. Uh, but I would love for you to you can come back to this. Can we bring the dog? Yeah. Well, I don't want anyone to steal the ideas. No one's going to steal it. It's fine. Brock. Look, we'll put it in a locker over here. That'd be great. <laughs> Metal locker. <laughs> Brox Wait, is the it? dog. We have lost the mound of fabric. We have a dog. Well, no, it's the mound of fabric. Well, combination you can take. <laughs> Very bad. That was more similar to the dog than the right, I'm still fabric. confused about the whole dog situation. Yeah, Are we going to see a dog? It's a mound of fabric. He's confused. Yeah. But I, I think it's going to be useful if you show him the actual outfit Wait, that we've made. Angie the scrub. dog's been here for like the whole month that we've been around. Is you? that a dog? <laughs> Look at this point, I actually don't know. It's a I'm dog. actually not sure. Yeah. Please, please. It's, it's hey, a dog. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, um, Casco. We, we get caught up in these things. No, it's okay. I, it's these the annual things? competition gets heated. Are you in the yeah. I was contributing in uh, these supervision. Things. I mean, we're going to say. As you're walking down the hallway, <laughs> you're having this conversation <laughs> in Casco. Like, oh, okay, really into the the Angie costume, which I get. Uh, my favorite costume that I've ever made. I made a a, a, a cowboy costume for him. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you know, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> oh, get it? Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, you may not want to. You may not want to bring my. I will here. make those jokes. Yeah, you. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> 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 As you open the door, as you're like glaring at him, you see uh, a young person who you have not met before, a wounded and injured. Oh. Uh, this oh. is uh, Pistale. Dodge knife? Pistale. No, something much. I mean, in a way, dodge knife, but something much worse. Um, Pistale, do you want to sort of explain what happened to you? Yeah, so oh. me, my friends, uh, you know, my, my party, uh, we left about six weeks ago, so I heard you guys are no recruits, but Niz, uh, Fargala, and Deadface, we... Deadface? Deadface. <laughs> Is Deadface or not? <laughs> well, that's the sad thing. He's dead? Yeah. <gasps> Wait. Both of them are dead. Now? Yeah, so, oh, I was, uh, we were trying, we were going up to the Ure Elegant, which is, you know, the mighty warrior township because we wanted to investigate and join and we we're heading up there from Dandorian and uh, we stumbled upon this sort of abandoned uh, abandoned sort of you know little outlet couple couple houses and we we thought we'd head over to say hello and, and it was all going really well at first you know we were joking they were joking ha 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 you know that sort of thing I but, get the juice, yeah. and uh, and then they talked about how they'd been adventuring for about 10 months because they found this, they, they had this magical artifact and uh, Fargala, she used to be really into magic. So she she wanted to see the artifact. They got very protective all of a sudden and uh, and they, it ended up going sour very quickly. And they, they attacked us. They took all our things and, and Niz and I ran away. Uh, Niz went back to Turan. Just quickly, did you want to patch yourself up before telling this very long story? You are bleeding. Uh, it's been two days and I haven't thought to do that. Oh, oh well, then, I'll finish the story, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, and that's basically it. Oh. I just went back to Turan, which is the town of Corlax. Uh, and I came here. Oh, that's the town of Corlax. What was the artifact? I don't know. So, something about a cube or something. A cube? Right, okay, sure. So, no one's alive. Do you know? Well, I'm alive. Well, aside from aside from yourself, and Niz. So half. 
Dead, dead Face is dead. Dead Face is dead. Dead Face. Where, sorry, where was Dead Face from? <laughs> Just so that way we know where to send his remains. Uh, dead Face was from uh, Bullenbach. Bullenbach, okay. Oh, yeah. Great cotton candy. Yeah. Really good cotton candy. Oh, definitely suggest. Mm. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I, I think, I kind, I kind of think that the, that the costume making was quite important as well. Um, so I don't know why we were dragged away from that for this. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Well, I thought it would be a really good time for you guys to get into the field. To get out and oh. adventure. We got a field? No, no. You've been here for a month. You've impressed. You ain't fun. <laughs> you <laughs> ain't! Sorry. You ain't no good. My fingers are purple. I thought I was dying. <laughs> 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 I've got all purple oh fingers. Oh my god, that was uh, so scary. It was like my fingers got. My fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Why in the field do you mean outside the walls of this very training institution? Well, yeah, but no, much further than that. We want you. I, I, so we're not just going to stand right outside the walls. No, 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 no. You're going all the way north past Endorian. No, I thought. Past Endorian? It's quite far, yeah. But you guys have been pressed while you've been here. You've shown spirit, you've shown understanding and ability. You guys came in and the last adventurers have been here for eight, nine months. Put them in the ground. Yeah, but we didn't anyway. kill them, that was pretty That's bad. Right. No, 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 no. But, no, we didn't kill them, of course not. No, no way, no. Don't. Anyway. We're gonna give it away. No, we didn't. Anyway, um. Hmm? No, <sighs> couldn't no. have done that. No. My thing is that um, I'm very keen on leaving as soon as possible now, so. Hey. Great. Yes, perfect. Well, this works out very well. But what about the cat costume? I really think we would have won that if we well, I, if I, we stay, we'll win. Casca, you're the you're the natural the arbiter on this whole competition. Would you say that we won? Tell me the design you were going for, because I saw the vision. But what's the final product? Do you know what a dog is? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay, someone else. It's great, Scott. Um, that's actually a genuine question. He has no idea. Essentially, what we're aiming Every time to... I see a dog, it looks different. Well, like some of them have long hair. And yeah, very short hair. Anyway, sorry, keep going. No, that's different, a good point. Different that's a good point. point. Um, Long term, the objective was to create a cat that has a skeleton, can breathe fire, and there's a light Oh! No, that was wings. Wings. Maybe some that horse some additional pen. We can. We can yeah. we're, we're artists. We're, it's like jazz. Is pending, yeah. Yeah. I would say. Depending on the artistry, yeah. the endowment. It's really good. Well, you didn't make it yet. We're covering yes, it. I made the body part. We haven't covered it in yet. It has lots of sequins on it. I think you had big potential to take away the mystery prize. I would say. Uh, but this is much more important. Uh, Pistale, do you have any questions for Pistale? Because they're more sensitive. Oh, that guy. To medical lab. Yeah. Um, I got a couple of questions for you. Do you know what a dog is? Yeah, I know where the dog is. Uh, it seems like some sort of big conspiracy. <laughs> What's your favourite fighting technique? Um, throw an axe at people's faces. Did it work against these adventurers? Uh, no, I missed with my axe and then I didn't have it. Did they like throw stuff back at you? Yes. Magic well, no, or then, things? There was magic, yeah. Uh -huh. Two of them had magic. Uh -huh. Two and out of, what did the other ones have? Two had swords, two had bows. Those are good questions. Do you, uh, well, first off, what up, body? Well, what up, body? Uh, I'm, I'm, you pistale, but people call me piss. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, I just had to mm -hmm. ask, was, was it, was it a cube or was it, was it more of like a rhomboid? Yeah, we never saw. Oh, you never saw it? No, we, we were just asking. Did they describe it as the cube? Or the rhomboid? A couple of them, a couple of them were, were talking about it. And then, uh, one of them, uh, I just, I can't remember their name. I don't think they said it. Came out and was very protective, but then started attacking and they all followed suit. Protective how? Did they have? Protective. Go on. In terms of like the look on their face, was it something that was crazed? Did it look otherworldly in the way that they were protected? A little bit. It was more like, I guess it was a bit of fear. And like, it was, it was almost like this had been brought up and they were very protective. Right. Do, did they inscribe the cube in any way, shape, or form outside of just being? Well, the shape of the form was a cube, right? Other than it just being a cube. Yeah, they did mention it's like it was related to magic. It was a very powerful magical artifact that 
helped me magic in some way. But right. the, we were talking to two of them, and they didn't, they didn't seem to know much about the properties there. Um, right. Have you so a couple of houses there? Yeah. One, once the conversation turned to that, it was pretty quickly shut down. You know, mm. the the main one came out within you know 15 seconds. So it was only like two or three sentences that right. I said, "We got this magical artifact." There was some issue they had to leave. It helps with magic, and then this guy came out and just instantly, you know, was shouting and stuff. And we were very, you know, well, we thought we'd get in an argument, so we were contentious back. And then it turned sour. Quick in hindsight, would have definitely just left or didn't realize they were going to be so serious. You know, we'd been having this great conversation with these other ones. So, did you meet any talking rocks? No. Any talking rocks? No. Okay, it's back to this again. I need to ask. You and your talking rock thing. Well, it's important. He could have seen one. I'm telling you, rock mine. Kind of out. Good. Good. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I'm really holding it. I'm actually... You're doing it. No, I've been yeah, gauze yeah, taped up. Yeah. I was just holding it to like, help my diaphragm. Tape. I don't know project. if that's gauze tape. It, it was, it's leaky. It's, it's very it's obviously It's just normal leaky. tape. Right. I'm actually really good at using the well. It might very well be. Craft things, and that's not gauze. Sorry, Casco. I'm leaking a bit. Yeah. Looks like Did these adventurers say they were headed uh, no, they just were talking about being around and so sort of they'd left wherever they were from and, uh, you know, they just sort of were now on the, just being adventurers, I guess. Right. And it was just the six of them who had been adventuring for 10 months. Yep. Okay. Yep. Same crew, as far as I could tell. We only talked to them for like 10 minutes. It wasn't like every bit of detail about them. Yeah. What's the quickest way to get there? Follow the, follow the route to... Dendorian and then just try to straight beeline it to Ure, the Ure Elegant. That's what we did. But, um, you know, we were going to go through the mountains to get there, which is not the advice way. You usually go all the way around the path. What's wrong with the mountains? No, they're just mountains. They're just hard to get through. Um, yeah, I can show you the map. Yeah, that'll be great. Uh, Let me get the map up. One second squad. Are you sure you haven't heard any cube or anything? I couldn't tell you. It's, it's a very, very indistinct shape. There are plenty of artifacts that are cool. take a cube form. Mm. So this is the map. Mm -hmm. You guys are here, as you know. Uh, that's Dendorian. Right. That's the Uri Elegant. So they're just trying to like go from there. But oh, usually you would go in. It's oh, like a path. Sort of uh, okay. yeah. I think it would be crazy hard to do this. Just like this. Like, yeah. The way to go. So like you could also do the mountain path or whatever if you wanted. Mm. Well, it's not a path. It's just a bunch of mountains. Well, I think we should leave as soon as possible if we can go. Yeah, I think we should leave as soon as possible as well. Cas we I think we did a good job. Casco, would you have to have any supplies that could lead us on that trip? I don't think we're going to have to go and set this crew. What kind of supplies would you be after? I mean, yeah, we can provide you with bedrolls and, and you know, rations and things like that. Just general survival stuff. I'll take some rations. Yeah, great. Of course, anyone who is at the castle can get sort of the preparations that oh, no, a week worth of supplies, oh, right, and then you're sort of on your own after that. Right. All right. No. Yeah. I'll take but the I, I would like to talk to you. Uh, Me. All, all of you alone. Oh. Uh, so if you have any separately. Questions. Yeah. Like we'll an interrogation. Like, no. As no. if someone's nothing. Oh, sorry. We haven't killed anyone. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that one, use the other one. Oh, no, you use that one. I got a plus seven. What is that? Is that a D8? No, it's a D20. Sorry, that's my bad. Ten. Alright. Do you want to see one of my You have a plus seven? seven? Wow. Um, wow! Okay, um, well, despite that, I. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank God I'm so good at talking at first. Right? No, so, well. Stella, please go, <laughs> go get mental call attention. Thank you for coming and telling me about this. Layers. Um, this is a really good opportunity. It's very exciting. It is sad that they all died, or two of them died. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we mourn the dead. But with the death is a rebirth. And adventurers like you four getting out into the world. All right. And magical artifacts like this, if you can get this back, is worth a lot of money. In my experience, these are worth thousands of gold. Ooh. So. I can understand why they were a bit protective of it. Mm. So I'm not saying, you know, go and kill these people, but like, I but would- you are saying- No, I'm saying I was put in a serious effort- To go and kill these Thousands of goals, you know, that could well, set like, you up for life. Well, like I said, we don't, we haven't killed anyone. So yeah, I, I feel like we wouldn't consider this would, that. This would be quite a, it'd be quite a stretch for our current moral compass. 
Of course, of course. I did not, I'm not expecting it, but you know. For us to go on this adventure? No, I'm, I'm oh. not expecting you to go in and just start murdering everyone. Oh. But I'm saying it's definitely. Well, don't worry about it. We're good. If I was trying to murder. Oh, so I'm a spellcast. That's how I do it. Ah, oh, right. And you see little like Magic lightning bolts. Oh, that's crazy. That sounds uh, incredible. No, Ta- we'll, we'll go. Casper, can we take Angie? No. Oh. No, I don't trust Angie. That dog is not a fighter. He's pretty cute. Though. It's a cute cuddle dog. Are we sure about it? the outfits. I would put a heap of some description, Angie. Oh, oh, no, it's no, it's the dog. Mm. No, Angie. This isn't gonna work. Just, it's just got a real squashed happen. face. I thought it was a pig. But yeah, we're, we're, I think we're. All... It's a little reductive, isn't it? Reductive. I don't even know what that word means. Please. Well, I know what that word means. What are you trying <laughs> to ask me for? Um, to see whether or not we can leave. Yes. To go and chase after these adventurers. Well, you're reading my mind. I think we're ready to go. Can I take those rations, though? And whatever else you have. Yeah, of course. Go see... What? Go see Munners. No. no go see Rats. Pew Yeah, and, sure. And uh, she'll set you up with everything. Seven. Yeah, that makes sense. What? Sweet. A number you were imagining. Seven. Yeah. Anybody want to go see... I walk see, out of the room. Uh, the like I said... As you're leaving, right. like I said, if you bring this offer back to me, we can, uh, you know, appraise it for you or you know, purchase it. Appraise it. Well, we did a pretty good job on it. Yeah. Appraise it. Yeah. So, so you know, we'll we'll be able to sort of. I mean, if you do this, you could be looking at, you know, somewhere between two hundred and a thousand gold each. Wall. So this is more of an artifact recovery than it is a meting out of justice, is what you're saying? Yeah. Right. I mean, if we bring these individuals back, would there be a bounty for them? A bonus? No, I don't. I don't know. Maybe, but I don't know anything about that bounty. I mean, we can look around, but I don't. If you could find out, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, I don't know where they're from, so yeah, I can ask around. Okay. See about that. Sure. I'd love to avenge dead face. Yeah. Just yeah. sounds like they're bad guys. We can just go after them, and what happens happens. Hmm. You got blood us. We don't kill people. No. Never. They're bad guys. They are. Anyway, I think we're ready to go to get rations mm. and then go. Yeah, I left and I came back. So that's oh, that was quite I'm, I'm ready to, no, I haven't got the rations. I'm just, oh. you guys are holding it up. We have to go back to the car. Great. Oh, you've already got them. Okay, well, no, I I'm not going to talk to you before you go. Sure. Oh. We'll go get the rations. All right, we'll get the rations for a man. No, mate. Yep. Can, can I stay? That's up to Kia. Can I stay? Not for now. I'll remember this. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll be off together. Yeah, Roger, Come with us. Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't pack up the um the cat dog kind of costume. We might uh, need it for later. Okay, I'll go to my room. That's me running away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. um, Alright, we're out. So, I know you're from East Rock, and uh, recently there has been quite a... Uh, How much do you know about me from East Rock? We do our research about our new recruits. You know, we don't want to let in, you know, sociopaths or any ne'er do wells. Wow. Uh, but we know there was a bit of an incident, and uh, many of the artifacts from East Rock have gone missing. It's yes. Uh, a, a group of adventure party ten months after mm-hmm. the ten month ago yeah. incident. Uh, we figure it might be highly related. What do you know about this artifact or anything like that? Look, the. The details of that night are fuzzy, so for whatever reason I can't delve back into the night itself. But from the way the artifact is... I was just beer bogging you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was a wild (laughs) Um, The Arcanium, since it burnt down, there was a fair amount of looting. And from what I can recall, there was this cube that was taken from the walls. It is of incredible. Its destructive potential is quite high, to say the very least. Um, my parents documented it for years, spent many hours, days, months, toiling away trying to determine what the full extent of the cube's power is. Um, to say the least, they, they dubbed it the enigmatic cube, but beyond that they could delve further into its capabilities. To say the least, it Corrupts, from what I can understand. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Which was why I asked 
your wounded recruit. Of course, of course. Well, I think I didn't know that, so thank you for divulging that. Mm-hmm. I do like letting people figure out their own matters. I don't necessarily like intruding or, no. you know, coming in and or being over there. And, and I feel like this might be a matter for you to resolve, which is why I wanted to, you know, put the dog costume aside for a second and go find you. Uh, so I will let you do this. Uh, once again, I do encourage you to get that back, but I would also be very, very interested in that too. Mm-hmm. Curious, um, what have you heard about this wrong? I've heard there was some drama that went down and you've not necessarily had the most excellent of goodbyes. No. Well, that's all I need to know. Thank you for your discretion as well. I've also heard you might want to be careful. I gather as much. Good luck. Fine. Thank you. Once again, Thank you for the really excited. We'll get another field. I mean, Bonza, you're getting out there. I'm excited to learn some new things. We love it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I've got to clean this bloody blood off my floor. This star <laughs> came to me before he went to the medical bay. He came for two days, <laughs> bleeding <laughs> out. What? What circle? We're also not here, but anyway. You'll cut off, <laughs> you'll cut off floors as well. All of the, the, the well upholstered material you have in the room. Unbelievable. Really? That a man could so callously come in here when, you, when he's uh, bleeding. No taste. No taste. No, no decor. Dead face died, but this guy lived. Oh, <laughs> talk about bad luck. Fate, honestly, has a way of playing with you. Anyway, ooh la la, I'll let you go. Mm. I have I have something important to attend to. Sure. And you see like a coward tower that's like... <laughs> <laughs> cards. Cool. Cards. There you go. Cool. So you right. have to up to Raspy Farm, we're just being waiting there? Yep. Well there. Cool. Excellent. Love it. You all grabbed everything, you got your stuff in the room. I, yep. I, um, I brought the cat costume in case we decided to do something with it. I took a bunch of rations because I said they were free too. <laughs> isn't isn't that all yeah. the rations? Well, I assume they can get more. No, no we else. can't when we're on the road, so there you go. To be fair, that's probably enough just for Brox. Roast dinner? Yeah, it's like. a bit. Okay, but Brock's got his own, and this is the one. Yeah. Here. No, I was the Thank one you. while I was playing Distraction. I went, oh my goodness, what's that? <laughs> Did they think I was burning down the kitchen again? Oh, it was more general. I have no idea oh, what their okay. internal monologues were as they were. Uh, running over. They really the freaked out. Really yeah, the eyes wide. Um, Were you doing some acting training over this last month as well? Is that why? No, they called me a natural performer. Oh, okay. yeah. <coughs> bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. Hmm? Half of that oh, is factual. I just correct. had to cough. I had something in my throat, so. Oh. Really? Yeah. Anyway, we got a lot of food. Actually, so maybe two. Maybe. You've got a. You, you got a good strength, don't you? You got a good back. Oh, I can, but that was very. You can't just casually say, "Oh, you can I do was, this." I was. I, wait, 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 wait. I set up and I was going to carry it, and it was a bit. Box, can you carry me? Yeah, probably. Okay, well then, in that case, I'll take the rations. Yeah, please. All right. <laughs> all right. Well. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you guys are leaving? Yeah. I think so. I've got all my equipment. Yeah, I've got all my stuff. As you, as you're leaving, you hear someone jogging up behind you. <laughs> Turn around, it's, it's Puddle Melt. Uh, comes up to you, Astro Ball specifically, but sort of looks at everyone. Yeah, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm from New York. New York. Hey guys, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> hey guys, uh, how's it going? Hey Astrid, I uh, heard you guys. Puddle Melt. Secret handshake. So secret, they That's so cool. Not. How did they get that done so well? It was. Of so course, a jock squad. Scrabble Club. Scrabble, Scrabble Club. Club. Scrabble Club. <laughs> New York, Scrabble baby. Ah, uh, freaking Josh. I heard you guys are. I'm from New York. I heard you guys are heading up to the Dorian. Yeah, well, we've got some cool stuff to do, and uh, I just think that I got so good at dodge knife that they selected me. So you're real. Yeah, you're really good small. at dodge knife. Yeah, but you keep it up and you'll be there soon. Yeah, I hope. I've got so many knives wounds. I really need to get better well, at the dodge. I'm really good, but yeah, that's because of me. But now's the time to practice, because you probably won't be out as much for injury as well. You're right, you're right. Yeah. No, I've, I've had to really take a back seat because of all the knife wounds you've, you've caused by throwing knives into me. But, but it's, it's a good game. Right? 
You're so it's good by being. You, you I'm gonna stand out. over here, is it? Yeah, this I feel like there's no, a tension there. Yeah, no, we have a medic on this side. Sort of, it's fine. Uh, no, it's good. It's good. No, it's, it's blunt knives. I'm not gonna. Like I'm not gonna yuck your yum. That's fine. You can have what you this want. This is why it's just Yeah. Hey, Bronx, you want a tattoo? Come here. I can, I've got my magic <laughs> quill. What? No, I. I what? Come over here. Asa. Asa, I have a. I have a request. I don't want to release things. Hold up, you do. <laughs> I request. Uh, my aunt uh, Mazden lives in uh, lives in Dendorian, and uh, we write letters to each other uh, every week. But uh, she she hasn't responded for the last four weeks, and I was wondering if you you could go check on her. She lives. Uh, yeah, that's no worries. She lives in the a blue tiled house blue on the second ring, three down from the main road. The second ring. It's right now. Yeah, yeah, no, no. How many times has she been married? Are you, okay. Are you, are you, what? Puzzle it's down. a ring. You guys never been to Dandorian? No, never. No. Oh, it's ring shaped. You'll, you'll sort of see when you get there. Yeah, oh. right. Puddle Milk? I've got it. Yeah. You've been a good friend. You've right. been a good friend. Oh. And so, a good teacher. What a teacher. I also just want to give you... And a teammate. I want to give you this, and I oh. take off the, the badge. And like, uh. You're now head of the Scrabble Club. I it's can't wait cute. to tell Fapstick about this. You don't know it in Fapstick's face too much. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he might not get that. But you've honestly got the most talent. I think I think it's time for you to step I, up and be the leader. I don't think Bob's going to be happy to hear that. So. Bob's not in the Scrabble Club. Yeah, I'm saying because Bob wants to be in the Scrabble Club. Oh, well, there's an opening and now the captain and there's can There's also someone else who wants to be in the Scrabble Club, but you don't know me either. So. You never asked. I did. You never tried it out when you asked. Ask I literally I, asked you today. I, I, you didn't show up to You literally tryouts. just walked away from me as I started asking you. He asked me to ask you. I would never... let you try out. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, good <laughs> attention. Yeah, right, uh, I'm gonna head out. Anyway. See you later. A secret night. handshake again. <laughs> oh, it changes every time. <laughs> ah, I stubbed myself in the eye. Must be my handshake. <laughs> Wait, Fox, you you carried me. Ah, oh, that's right. Hop on. Who? Well, you didn't jump that high. Yeah, I, I can't really jump. He's All right, I'll pick you up. Are you hot? You should probably know this by now. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to watch. <laughs> so many feet above me. <laughs> I think three feet tall. <laughs> I am a god. Ah! <laughs> okay. Whoa! Mm. I thought we were gonna really like pass it out. <laughs> right, 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 nice. You just wow. drop wow. Four minutes in. Alright. Cool beans. Oh, right. cool <laughs> beans so we've got a couple options. <laughs> uh, what we can do is we can either sort of just like <laughs> transport straight there. You're basically just walking. There's not necessarily going to be anything. Or if you guys really want, you can do sort of like the overnight stays at the cafes that are on the way. But yes. you can just like go straight there and just be in the door. So that was a, that was a heavy yes. We did like I some. I'm getting get sleepy, so uh, I do love, walk I do love the way there. Yeah, yeah. Legs, the yeah. Mm. We we haven't left this place in about a month, so it would be nice to like <sighs> go somewhere else. Yeah, I should probably send a letter to my mom, my mother as well. Sure. Cool. Shows a career service. Go no, fine. I hope so. Mm. Mm. Have you written this one? No. I'm not very good at writing. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Help. You start with dear mum. Is she a dear or, or is she a heart? She's an elf. She's like elf mum. Elf mum. Uh, yeah. Right. Look, I, I might not take your help, Rox, but I appreciate it. Well, it's kind of rude. But... No, that's fair. I can write the letter for you if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Sure. Do you want to transcribe that now? Or like, well, I'm currently on top of rocks, so it might be a bit difficult. True. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah walking. <laughs> just transcribe it. Anyway, where are we right now? Well, I guess, I guess you just like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, like, if you guys want to just, like, jump straight ahead, you can just turn up to this tavern. It's like about a day's journey, so it's like after about eight or ten hours of walking, you would turn up to this place, you see a sign, it says Top Stop. Top Stop. Top. Top Stop. And uh, Probably just... didn't really need all these rations if you were to stay at Cabin at the time, but that's alright. Uh, I've been, still got Honestly, I've been chewing uh, all those rations all the way. What's the veggie options? Thank you. There's a steamed broccoli. What do you mean about steamed? 
and he kind of yeah. went the car. Well, they've seen that they're dehydrated. Oh, it's the packet. <laughs> There's a packet? That was a packet. It's made a whole. You saw that whole. Packet. This plastic? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah, really? Individually packed. <laughs> 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 oh, well. Back out. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw the, the, the nut itself, but you threw the whole thing. No, they're all packaged. Yeah, what is it? Oh, they're pe- oh. the pea cans as well. Here, you take it. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that anymore. No. You're going to litter that. Yeah. Ah, well. You also in You're the packet. You're out of the packet. Stop. Well, I just want to be like you. <laughs> no. It's good for you. It's protein. It's, it's additional fiber that you can Anyway, eat. should we go into the tavern and stop eating your packets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's some good I'm food. I'm kind of here. enjoying it. I won't lie. <laughs> Standing out the front. Eating. You diet. Can I open the, <laughs> open the door of the tavern? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you hear a bit of a cringy You hear a bit of a like. Oh, this one. Stick to it. Uh, playing is pretty, it's pretty funky guitar as things. Um, you know, it's like, it would be pretty late at night. It's probably like 9, 10 PM. Uh, so they're like, you know, pretty good vibe, but it's like mostly travelers, people going to and from, maybe there's like 10, 12 people in the tavern. It's like pretty medium sized. I pretty uh, nice. pull my loot out and uh, start playing a little bit around. So you, you sort it's just one individual. Oh, can I, can I jam? So you saunter up. And I, I make eye contact, like no, because he's playing. Obviously, I don't want to. <laughs> make a performance check. Okay. Wow. Uh, eighteen. Ooh. Wow. So after establishing a uh, pretty solid rapport through your eye contact, <laughs> he's the loop. You know, oh, a fellow musician. I see. Uh, you know, you start playing along and. Yeah, like you don't necessarily know the song exactly, but you sort of get the beats and things and, uh, you know, just effectively playing along and you're having a little, you know, they change the song sometimes to something else, you change and it's very like call and response type, uh, loot, guitar inspired adventure for everyone in the title. Fun. Fun. Awesome. Mm. What are you framing them? Yeah, well, we have, we have I got some pointers, I gotta cover up. <laughs> no, they're just like That's... playing in a corner, but we have stage and I'm just singing like if these two are on our stage, we could uh, sell out uh, on a Saturday night. I might go up to the quite... counter there and all that. Anybody want some drinks or anything? I'd okay. love a drink actually. Yeah, what? Just a little local ale, just whatever breweries uh, around here. Okay, what do you want? Just some gin. Just some gin? Yeah. Just some gin? Yeah. And an ale? Yes. Alright. Thanks, Brock. Thanks, Brock. Is there a piano in the tavern? Is there a piano in the tavern? Mm. Yeah, there is. Okay. Hello, Barkey. I'm Brox. Hello, friend. How are you doing? I'm well. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm very good. Hey, Brox. Nice to meet you. I'm Gustavo. Gustavo? Yeah, what Gustavo. Gustavo. Yeah. Is that a local sort of name or is that a... No, it's a natural elven name. Oh, I see. Excellent. Yeah. Um... Could them. Wow, that was heavy glasses. Yep. Can I, can I have a look at one of these? No. Yeah. Do you want anything in that glass? Yes, I'll take, um... Uh... Could I get three lagers, please? Absolutely. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. different tap. Ah, uh, nice. The three lagers. Alright, excellent. How much is that one? Uh, one gold... Alrighty, there you All go. Free. All right, take this back to the table. All right, here we go, fellas. Your lager, your lager, your lager for me. Excellent. I'm going to take this immediately and go to the piano. Okay. I'll... All right, fine. Thank you. You asked for a lager? Oh, thanks, by the way. Yeah, you're it's welcome. Good. Close enough. We'll go with that. <laughs> I pull out my dragon chess set and I'm going to put it on the up the table. Oh, you play chess? Dragon chess. The dragon chess. Yeah, yeah. I do play dragon chess. Do you play dragon chess? Yeah, yeah I do. All right. Would you like to have a game? Let's have a game of Dragon Chess. Would you care to put some money on it? We can put some money on it. Yeah. Now, how do you play this game? You don't know how to... I thought you said... Well, you there's know. a dragon, and I assume chess is involved. But where does the chess meet the dragon? Well, it's it's more of a... It's more of an aesthetic thing. Yes, oh, see, see, it's chess just with dragons. Yeah, the, the, the pieces themselves. Are oh, of dragon. course. Well, the pawns chess before, the pawns and I imagine that it'd be quite fun. Yeah, okay. Well, let's let's have a game then. Uh, I would take the piece. I put it behind my back. 
All right. Which hand? That one. Um, let's actually, because I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god, there's nothing like, on here. <laughs> no conception of it. Hang on a second, you right. tricked me. So we'll use a D4. We'll use D4. Um, one and two um, white. Yep. Three and four black. All right. Four, so you're black. All right. Cool. That's all I go first. Excellent. Now, you've played, you've played track just before. Never right? once in my life, but I'm kidding. Right. Black goes second. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Next, the advantage. So I'm, right. Exactly. You get to make the determination after I make my move. Yes. So I'll move to... On I'm turn. Uh, E6. And then your turn. Yeah. G4. With... How? Isn't that how it works? G4. Yeah. With... Okay, With sure. my queen. I got sure. G4. Yes, okay. Let's let's go with that. Um, and then I'll proceed to um, drop my uh, knight into a position where you can check me. Oh, I see. And I second like turn. Second side turn. Of the board. Wow. Well, this is this is the um, the East Rock version of the Dragon Chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. You're the bartender who's come up and says, "Didn't make them roll. I want to see." Come on, good box win. <laughs> turn two. <laughs> wow. Nice. Hey, uh, this is some real good Dragon Chess yeah. that got going on over here. But if I move my like, king over <laughs> here, I'm no longer <laughs> at risk, right? For now, but then I move my queen out to. Oh, you have. <laughs> I move all my pawns in a single line <laughs> up to three spaces. Now, how do you feel about that? All right, I'll invert my rooks and then bring them. Uh, the ah, rocket rooks! rooks. Yep. <laughs> right. I make little horsey motions with my knight and I go all the way up the board to your end. Be careful, those pieces are red, but that's a good move. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm going to bring out my, my uh, right side pawns into a, into a fighting formation in a triangle. How do you feel about that? I don't like them apples. I don't like them very much. Mm. You're in a risky position. Alright. And I bring my bishop and I peg it at your head. <laughs> How about that? You're gonna roll the hit? Roll the hit! <laughs> yeah, roll the hit. Uh, Improvise weapon. Yeah, well, I get the 20. Ah! The bishop. How about that? Do you want another lager? Yeah, actually, that would be really helpful right now. All right, yeah. Anyway, we go up to the bar. Oh, okay, we will cut over to uh, Astrid's piano expedition. So they are playing guitar and lute. Yep. I walk to the piano, kind of sculling my lager. Here's to us. <laughs> it's the Scrabble um, Club. It's the Scrabble Club again. I jump up on the piano stool, <laughs> standing. Up. It's a box jump, successful. Oh, um, you know what? Roll athletics. <laughs> Acrobatics. Oh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Sign of a gymnast. Yeah. Oh, 19, nice. and I don't nice. think I have nice. any modifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. Uh, no, I don't have a minus one. 18. <laughs> you're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warm up a bit, get a bit loose, and then just press the high E. The high E? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a high E. Cool, that's me done, and I walk right. to the table. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> cool. That was amazing. Oh, oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> and I walk back and uh, check out the dragon chest. I just sit and watch. Yep. Uh, pretty horrified, actually. I one of the players. Well, one of us playing dragon chess. I know. <laughs> anyway, did you want a lager as well? Sorry. Um, I'm kind of still going this one, but I'll, I'll get another one. If yeah, you but all right. Yeah. I'm going to go back to the bar. Oh. My Hello, Gustavo. Oh, nice to meet you again. I'll take a... Uh, Best part. Hang on, I've got this. It's really good. No, no, no that's something else. Mm -hmm. uh, tequila shots? Yes, three tequila shots, that's what it was. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Big glug, glug, glug. Excellent. Right. Come on, Thank come you. on, come on. How Small much hands. for that one? <laughs> 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 nice. How much for these ones, yeah? Uh, one gold. One gold? All right. There we go. All right, lads. <laughs> Tequila shots. There we go. Ah, well, all right, I, I guess, yeah, sure. All right. Bottoms up. Three, two, one. Shot. Oh. <laughs> Here's the <Allison. laughs> He's too blue. Have you got a Scrabble Club chapter in this town? <laughs> um, Scrabble Club's pretty infiltrated, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's a lot of alumni. Oh, wow. Yeah. People graduate from Scrabble Club. Yeah, it was. 
really established before I got there. Wow. I just am really good, so I made my way up in the ranks pretty fast, and that's why I was captain. You gave it a mainstream appeal? Kind of made it more accessible to the wider. No, that's not the point. Oh. <laughs> What's. Oh, it's. Oh, it's, it, that's right. I forgot. It's very clandestine, very sort of. A little less said about it. Uh, you know? Um, it's just a cool kids' club. Yeah, it's just a cool job. That's cool. I don't know. I just while, while we're playing, yep. I, uh, I get really, really excited when I'm playing, mm -hmm. and I suddenly cast Mage Hand, and it starts playing. Whoa! 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 Oh! 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 Go for it. Just a raw charisma. When did you burn that? Yeah, wow. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, 20. So you, you cast Mage Hand and you Incredible. like manage to like put the guitar on a stool so it's leaning. <laughs> it's like going like that. And then you're going, hey, 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 hey. And like a bunch of people in the tavern start going like get up and going in front like, hey, 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 hey. And you're like leading a dance, you're like, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so, you guys are seeing this dance party. Do you guys want to? Oh, hell yeah, watch? get me in there. I'm like drunk. Hey, I'm hey, really hey, cut off. Hey, I'm like, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, so that goes on for a little while. For two hours. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Two hours. Hey, hey. Two hours later. Everyone's hey, uh, hey, hey, and hey. <laughs> so all that time no <laughs> eating the packets. <laughs> uh, Gustavo goes, uh, you, your friends, drinks on the house for the night. Any food you have to say? You brought life to the tavern in a way we haven't seen in years. Yay! <sighs> Do I get it? <laughs> hey, water. Yay. Yes. Alright, thank you. While this has been happening, I've just been playing Dragon Chess by myself. I've just been like the oh. board around. You know, someone not. someone comes and sits down with you, you start playing with them. You can reject it if you want. Sure. Say, Get out of here! <laughs> you know, here. Just like yeah, just like you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, how long have you been playing for? And we'll just like take it down. I've never really played before, I just sort of thought they were pretty and I thought you looked good, so I thought I want to talk to that individual and play their fun game. All right then. Uh, Gustavo, could I get, uh, so what do you want? What do you want to drink? A, a lager. You want a lager? Yeah. All right. Can I get two lagers here, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. Set to Brox? That's it. Thank you. Well, you were champ there, yeah. Did Brox just get a job? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want anything? Because you were there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Minkleton. Nice to meet you, Minkleton. Q. Uh, nice to meet you. Can I perform uh, an inside check? Just. Seeming yeah, whatever. what are you inside checking? Just seeing whether or not they're a, a chill, non sus character. Yeah. I just want to say that I'm passed out on top of the piano. People from the <laughs> okay. You know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a plus. Oh my god, I don't remember. It's like. You can check. I'll check. Plus 20. Yeah, plus, yeah. plus 20. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, Guys, I, I said it's oh, right. just <laughs> yeah. is like not cool. <laughs> Believe. Uh, At this point, I'm just pouring myself from the tap. Yeah. Are you, yeah. are you behind the bar now? Oh, yeah. Make a... Make a persuasion check. Oh, yeah. Are you trying to intimidate Gustavo into letting you do this? Yeah. Are you trying to intimidate Gustavo into letting you do this? Yeah. It's only plus one. Um, yeah, so that's oh, no. five. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hit the remote, hit the remote. Oh, no. Get four. It's a nat one. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, we'll come back to this in a sec. Yeah. Uh, as you're doing that, you start and go, get the fuck out from behind oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's me drinks, but not from the keg. Oh, okay, all right. Um, so you do your insight check. Uh, yeah, they just seem like, you know, you and your friends have come into this tavern. You've had a lot of energy and people are just like, who are these? Yeah. yeah, so they just want to know, it sounds like this dude just wants to play some dragon quest. Chess. One of the best <laughs> RPGs of the 20. All right then. Well, good luck. Um, I'll be a good game. Thank you. So keep playing. Cool. Keep playing. Yep. Explain the rules to them. Yep. Make a friend. Yep. Or a foe. How well does he play? Roll d20. Or... Um, how well do you explain it to him? Roll a d20 for mentorship, Ooh. and you could do Ooh. intelligence. Okay. Yeah. It's a fifteen. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, they sort of get a hang of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're teaching them pretty well, and they, they play pretty decently. They're picking it up pretty, you know, modern really quickly. They're not stellar. Good. Not savant. They're just like a dude playing a game decently. Okay. You can castle at that point now. You've got oh. easy access to do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep. Perfect. There you go. So you've protected your king now. Good. Yeah. Stay alive. For now. Yeah. It's always important. Seabrox? I don't know what kind of game this is, but this is a dragon chess station. This is some other game. See, so dragon chess, it's all about your imagination. The only limit is the fun you can have to play. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Well, with that, what? No idea what the voice was. Could have. Now you got it. Five. I'm going to do this now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic. So what? Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no insecurity, come back. <laughs> uh, what I do here is I pick up my king yes. and my queen yes. and I separate them. Yes. And I bring in a prince and a princess. Yes. And I say the new generation rises yes. and I make them a ladder. And I put them on top of the ladder yes. and they oversee the rest of the board. This is the dragon chest that I know. What's your move? Yeah. Cut down a generation, or what are you gonna do here? I'm gonna resign at this point. You've uh, you've well and truly, well and truly showed me. Well done, congratulations. Show him. I won! See, I won ah, last hey, night. Hey, 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 hey. You're a wonderful teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Um, I, I also go up to the bar and say, well, now that I, uh, you know, I played a bit of a gig up there, do you think I could pour myself my own drink? Make up a swing. <laughs> Possibly to me first day. Uh, sixteen. Of course. Hey, Brox. Yeah. There it is. Nice pool. Got a bit of head on it, but not too much. No, don't, you have to open your mouth. Oh no! <laughs> I just pour it on my head. Oh, so I'm a drinking problem, hey, my friend. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually drunk before in my life. Oh my god! You've never drunk any liquid. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. No. Cannon. Cannon. Established. I can swim. <laughs> I have the driest skin, and I'm like, it all the time. I'm very close to dying a lot. <laughs> skin so jaundiced. Why do I negative four? Oh. Yeah. I'm the truth is so low. I have fear of water. Unfortunately. <laughs> that is that is cannon. Is canon. Episode three of the prologue. Yeah. Uh, watch your back, guys. Yeah. Do you have uh, rooms for board here? I'm yeah, gonna, of course. Could I how much is it for a room? Three silver. Three silver. Three silver for an individual room. Five silver for an, I'll a take double. An individual. Eight silver for a coin. For a coin. Oh, gotcha. Alrighty. I thought you were going to talk about an open area of the dinner. Nope. Anyway. I'll take a single. Cool. Three silver. There you go. That's one. Two. You're clicking every time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Three. Amazing. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. Fires them. They, found, they land in like a, a cup on like a top shelf. My goodness. You're incredibly talented. Wow. You're astute. <laughs> What's astute? Uh. Good at thinking things of the world. Fuck. Oh, that was an animal. That's a huge. Anyway, I'm gonna head up <laughs> to bed. Alright. Later, Brock Sox. Good night, Brock Hey, you know what? Night. Catch us all in the morning. Good game. Well done. Well, we can't all be winners, can we? No, we can't. We can't always be. No, alright. I'm off to bed. And I go off to work a bit. Cool. Could I get a cognac? I'm just gonna stay down here by the fire for a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Me and my mate are going to keep practicing a bit. Cool. It's pretty cool. About 2.30 a.m. at this point. So it's like pretty, you know, you guys kept the life alive, especially you, kept the life alive for a while. Uh, but, you know, people are travelers, merchants and stuff. So there's like maybe like one or two people left mm. that aren't you. How are you feeling? All right? I'm asleep. Are you asleep? <laughs> I wow. passed out and thought she passed out. I have like I, I like managed to get there with like a cushion, and at some point someone like threw a blanket over me. I'm seven at night. Okay, just sitting in the corner. It's really horrible. That's cool. it. I'm gonna go to bed. So do you guys want rooms? 
Uh, I'll just probably scratch you up. More good. In the this is crazy in the tavern area. <laughs> Come join! <laughs> I mean, is that alright? I guess. Well, I just, I just want to get playing for a bit, so. Okay. Yeah, sure. No problem. Yeah, cool. I'll take a room, but I'll get to it later. It's three. Cool. So a few. Click, click, click. Whoa. Well, that's the Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cool. Thanks, Gustav. Rest up. Shall we go the next day? Or yes. Do you guys want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm playing yeah. in the morning. Still the sun is still, jam- still jamming in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, my mate's hand is still jamming in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> still hustling. I, I like wake up and then kind of get out with my eyes still closed so I'm in bed and then I put my feet down the piano. Uh, Jolts me away. Uh, <laughs> Brent, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so <laughs> massive, massive headache. And I sort of make my way to the bar. Uh, is anyone there? Yeah, there's someone there. It's a new person. Um, hi, can I have Hello. A, multiple waters and an orange juice, please? Of course, of course. There you go, it's some multiple waters and an orange juice. Pour, pour, <laughs> pour. <laughs> Thank you. And I go to it. Would you like me too? Maybe in a bit. Okay, wonderful. Yes. And I start down. Here's to ask you. <laughs> Guys, thanks for that, but we'll just leave that for now. Get out of here, Scrabble. <laughs> No, they can stay. It's All right, okay. come back. <laughs> <laughs> I like having them here, but it's just a bit loud. It's sharp pain behind your eyes. <laughs> Looks like a, a drum, like a full R. cup of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shot with rocks, but it was so big. <laughs> anyway, that's me for the moment. I'm still smelling like beer because mm-hmm. I poured a beer on myself. So I might go and find some way to wash myself up. Oh. Okay, you can sort of find a bathroom area. You kind of like wash yourself down. In the bathroom. You know, yeah. it's still on your clothes a bit, but you can wash it off the skin and wash your clothes as soon mm-hmm. as you can. Mm. Oh, my fear of liquids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all come down from the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Quite moderately well rested. A little bit. A little bit fuzzy just because of the amount that I did end up having. But um, we'll post Astro like. Morning. More. How, you, how are you going? Good. Everything's fine. Good. Mm-hmm. Do you have any healing spells? Uh, no. Okay. But, it's, yeah, you know, it's always good to just keep drinking that water. Yep. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. 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 Uh, could I get a, a tea, a cup of tea? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. What? Any tea? Um, normally I go black, but let's go something, something herbal, something aromatic. Jasmine lemon. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. This is for you. It's called acting. Yeah. How's the matter? Just, even just, even There's just. There's a reason I got the Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking the aromas, just kind of let that first okay. get over you a bit. Yeah. And pull my foot up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? I just said, oh, cat is. <laughs> oh, no, <wait. laughs> That's funny. Just uh, avoid looking straight at the doorway. Um, that light's going to come in pretty heavy in a few minutes. So. Are you leaving? I'm, I'm going to go outside for a little bit and just you know, take some fresh air. Oh. It's a bit stuffy in here. Okay, well, thanks for the tea. It's all right. Enjoy. Um, thank you. I, I probably will. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to focus on the day. It's a good idea. Me? Oh. I'm just gonna wake up. I'm in bed doing the meditations. Cool. Oh, yeah. What? Four oh, flat. Type Cool. Would you guys want to just sort of skip on over to the enduring? You sort of leave. That tea works a treat. Very well, Thank you. Really good evening. Hey, well, thank you. Thanks for that. That's great. You will be remembered. Thank you. Because of me, I was a bit light in the pocket. I might have spent a bit too much. Oh, I owe you for that. Um, no, please. No, the Ox family would never take it. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't drink it. Ah, uh, I remember this. Oh, no, I dropped a coin. Oh, you better pick that up. <coughs> there you go. It's not mine. You can keep it. No, you go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Next time. Thank you for your, uh, for, your, <laughs> for your kind hospitality. I appreciate it. The drinks were well appreciated. Yes, well, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. You are welcome. And I'm sorry I had to beat you. Beat the button dragon chicks there last night and uh, teach the old other. The other fellow had a beat him as well, but you know, 
look. Sometimes your intellectual types need to. It's the, mark of a, it's the mark of a good teacher to be able to have their students eventually leave them. Yes. So if um, anything, it's more of a compliment than it is an insult. Right, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm. I'm just going to quickly go speak to this um, just before we leave. Um, anyone comes this way, asking about a group, just say anything. Okay. Uh, do I ever hear this? Oh, oh, they're still in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> do, I ever, do I ever hear? Over here? I assume you went separately. I went separately. Because I think, do we, were we leaving? I think I was outside. I thought I was outside. I was in the fresh air. Oh. Yeah. So I've gone back in. So as you've snuck in behind him. Sorry, just give me one second. I, gotta, I left, I think I left a pawn by the table. Oh, so okay. I don't think it's important. Hey, gosh. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm probably, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it depends. Oh, so my, some people might. My estimations of you have gone way down. Anyway, I'm going to go over here. I go with Brox. Brox is approved. Oh, right. I didn't know Brox yeah. was approved. Wow. Let's uh, cast Brox in a whole new light. Cast me in a whole new light. Mm. Cast you in a whole new light. <laughs> my, my, my pawn? What about my pawn? Yeah, like, like leaving it about the place. What? You don't think people there are would. kids about You don't think people would like, appreciate the intricacy of the pawn, how well it's been made? Well, I haven't seen the pawn personally. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the particular quality of it is. Was it drawings? No, no, it's a little sculpture. No, it's, it's been fi finely etched. You have finely etched. etched. Yeah. <laughs> I I uh, come out of the bathroom. I come out of the bathroom and I'm, I'm just soaking wet. Like I'm just, I'm oh, just body. Just soaking wet. Yeah, it's a shower. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad you're drinking your drink water. It's still pretty crippling. Oh, it's just not drinking. Uh, okay. okay. You can, I can bathe. So you, can so oh, I can you can submerge yourself, that's yeah. for sure. And you do smell wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I used the scented soap. Huh. That's oh, a really nice establishment. There were showers and there were scented soap. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> some cannon. <laughs> well, <laughs> spa. I think so. Top nice. Nice. At the pub. I think the... Scented soap. He's a fan. He's a fan. I think the Scrabble Club will be telling you this night so many travellers who come through here. What? Why did Scrabble Club come, come with us? We said bye to them. It was the alumni, but you're still part of the club. Once you're in the club, you're mm -hmm. in the club. So, there are some people who live in this, this hotel, cabin. The bathrooms are so nice, I forgot. Was yeah, that one was so nice. What a night. Really luxurious. Oh, yeah. so nice. Did you get your porn? Yeah, I grabbed my porn. Let's go. Are we good to go? Please. No, here's my pawn. It look like oh, one. It's like a one of the chest grabbing pieces. That's what I meant. That's your pawn? That's my pawn. Well, I don't even know what you Anyway, we should crack on. Well, you played with them yesterday. You were, you were I've fun. never played with your pawn in my life. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Smash cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys turn up at Dundorian. Maybe it's about if we go back to the other map real quickly, we can uh, do a little preview, purview, words and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys are just going from here to here. It doesn't take you very long, six hours. But we get there about, you probably woke up pretty late, but maybe like 5 p.m. Because, you know, that's just the time you sort of wake up and get there. And yeah. you arrive in the town of Dundorian, which uh, I came uh, up on my screen, but no, there we go. There we go. Wow, I see what they mean about the rings. Right, okay, yes, it's a yep. multi tiered village layout. Got it, makes sense. Do you think? Ring two down from the main road. If the rings have anything to do with the socio economic standing, that would be pretty red hot. But it might just be an urban planning thing more than anything else. Because uh, as you can see, there's more mm -hmm. agriculture and farms based on the outside, mm -hmm. just by virtue of you know, they need to be moved out of the town quicker. And there's probably yeah, manners and less utility-based buildings, more internal. Lots of class of people have manners, it's true. Yeah. They do. They're more just, I'm sure it's more functional than anything else. Well, only one way to find out. <sighs> Let's go. Which ring are we going in? I will say, as you're walking up, you notice it's like fields and fields of wheat. Mm. Like, like for kilometers and kilometers outside. Uh, like, Polex is pretty, pretty, got some farms, but this is definitely like a whole other level uh, of like yeah. agriculture going on. Right. Like an industrial center. We are going to the second ring, three down from the main road, which is, I assume, this one, the one that leads into the town. I don't assume so. It looks like a whole 
it's pretty yeah. caravan. I can't really see anything. The wheat's pretty high. But oh. It's a bit hold on. He's in town know. in the distance, but... Well, this is the main thoroughfare. You can see that there are all these wagons coming through delivering goods and so yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah. So you assume that you know, this is the main road. So, shall we head further in? And let's take less time in the wheat. Yes. Great. Sorry, I should have borrowed all the wheat. Mm. As a farmer, yeah, I'm sure you would. Paul, so which house do you want to go to? The, what what nodes did you have? The big one. I have. They're in a blue tiled house, second ring, three down from the main road. Ooh. So. Yikes. There's a lot of blue tiled houses. Wait. There's also one there. Yeah. Do we just go door knock? Maybe we split up. I like it. Let's split up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Second ring, three down from the main road. Three. Wait, one, two. That one. Yeah. Oh, three down from the main road. Second second ring. There's another one. Is that the second ring or is that the first ring? Wait, is it second from the middle or is it second from the outside? Can we, uh, Second ring, three down from the main road. Can we call Casco or something? Down. <laughs> 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 like, Angle for Casco. Now, what's the third ring? Or well, the second ring? Are there only two rings? I or think or this three? is the second ring here. I think it must be that one. Is that not the second ring? Or is this the more internal one? So, this, but there's no ring in. That's the first ring, right? Maybe there's a tiny little ring in the that's ground. That's the centre. Can I go into the centre of the town and observe if there are any small rings in the ground? Can make a perception check. All right. Uh, 11. No. All right, there's no rings in the middle here. Should we ask one of the locals if they're if what they consider the second ring? I'm ready just to take a punt. Can I just try and... Yeah, sure, there's a bunch of people walking around. Excuse me! Uh, what's that? Hello. Well, what's your name? Hello. What's your name? I'm Vape Juice. <laughs> so how old are you, Vape Juice? Four. <laughs> right, okay. Thank you. And, uh, so, I mean, do you live here or are you passing? Yep, yeah, classic vape juice. <laughs> yeah. Classic vape juice? Yeah. Alright, Mr. Vape Juice. Now, we're looking for the, the house that's been described as in the second ring, mm-hmm. three down from the main road. It's a blue tile house. Yes. Okay. Yep. So, from what we can observe, there may be three or two rings. Which uh, ring? Do oh, the, the you first consider? ring. We, when we say first ring, we mean like in towards the center is the first ring. The second ring is the next layer after that. Like the inside is the ring. The inside is the ring. Yeah. Like where the houses are. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the main road and points this way down. And this uh-huh. is also the main road and points uh-huh. to that top one. So the second ring would be the one. If we're in this intersection here, yep. the next intersection, that's the second ring. Yeah, it's like here. Yes, as I suspected. <laughs> well, thank you, um, Vape Juice. No problem. Oh, Tony? Right. Yes, Tony. Okay, well, I'm, yes, I'm, that's crazy. I'm, 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 I'm only joking with you. Yeah, it's, would... it's Brox. Oh, nice to meet you, Brox. Brox Ox. Nice to meet you. Of the Ox family of Cormax. Oh. Yes. Of the ox? You, uh, he's opening a book called Death Note and goes, Fox, Ox, of the Corlax Ox family. Well, very nice to meet you. And what was your name? Cory. Cory. Poople Pop, I'm going to guess. Yes, Poople Pop. Anyway, I'm off. You All sort right. of see this little kid run off. Pew, 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 pew. What's a Death Note? <laughs> what that was about. Anyway, yes. second ring. Um, did anyone else see that? Um, it looks a little grim. Do we just ignore that? Oh, I was that? just getting in circles, so yeah. He's writing in a book called Death Note. Oh, is that what you said? Yes. And he has your family name. Oh, I'm sure it means nothing. Anyway. Okay. Uh, the valley's pretty protected anyway. Let's, um... Oh, we're on a hill. Yeah. It's just an exercise in discretion, you know, to avoid attracting any unwanted attention to ourselves while we look. So we shouldn't introduce ourselves and our families. Well, just be careful about doing it so really nearly. Because so I'll pick on it. Yeah. If you want to, you I can. can pick any name I want. You, you sure can. What do you want to pick? Oh. The names. Drops. <laughs> Drops. Cool. Cool. That's the OJ naming school right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm going with Drops. Fox. 
fox for. Oh, shit. Sure. Now I expect it, because I'm not a fox. More, uh-huh. more of a, a description of your sly, sort of nimble attitude and behavior, right? Yes. Yeah. That's Drox Fox. Alrighty. I like this new identity. So what do we call you? Please call me Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox. Oh my god. Alrighty. <laughs> Dolph, right? Dolph. Yes. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we try and locate this uh, third house down from yeah, the second let's ring? Go. Yeah. Did you get any information from him? He said that this ring was the second ring. Honestly? No. Yeah, much. what do you guys want to do? Just point to the house and turn up. No, one we pointed to before. Which one? That one. That one! <laughs> this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you turn up, I assume. Yeah. And then you hear from the other <laughs> side. <laughs> before they open the door. Hello, what's that beautiful melody? Hello, I'm okay. Mr. Fox. Hello, I'm uh, Mrs. Marjorie. <laughs> Mrs. Marjorie. Marjorie. We're just here oh, nice from. Um, it's all memory. Uh, we're just here from the. <laughs> We're just here. Do you know Puddle Melt? Of course. By chance. Oh, by the way, you open the door and Madison <laughs> Marjorie. Uh, That's why I had that again. It's like got both arms in slings and it's got like scratches like all over them. They're sort of like seem to be healed at this point. Uh, but looks a bit, bit poorly. Okay. Yeah. Ah, hello. Um, Sorry, I really shook my... your hand there. I hope that didn't hurt. It's okay, I momentarily forgot about pain. It's all mental, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. I'm a close friend of Puddle Mill. Of course, thank you. Yes, and oh, I'm please. Mr. You're welcome. Please, come in. Thank you. That's the way. I thought we shouldn't be revealing our identities. Should we say that we're a close friend of Mr. Puddle Mill? And how did he open the door? <laughs> how did he knock? How did he drop? drop? <laughs> how did he drop? How did he do that? Uh, Anyway, I'm Miss Something Fishy's going on here. Yeah, Guys, you have magic and you're going out of the <laughs> All elbows, <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll come inside. Um, he's here. Yes, how is Puddle Mode? Oh, lovely oh, home. He's great. He's actually uh, nice. yeah. he's a captain of a real cool club. Might have heard of it. Which club? The Scrabble Club. He made captain. He made captain. I was going to be so excited. Well, it was me who chose him. <gasps> so. well, you must be very, very, very special if you were captain of... Scrabble Club? Yes. What yes, well identified. Sorry, what are your what are your names? That's Mrs. Wolf. And that's Mr. Um. Jackal. And that one's uh, Mr. This feels like a bit of a taunt. Yeah, this isn't. I think we're trying to think of another word, but it kind of goes into don't, the theme. Don't worry about him too much. He's uh, he's role playing, if you will. Yes. Uh, really? Is there a little oh, yeah. animal that's is like this, a fox? Is this another one of these incidences? What now? What? What incident? Your role playing animals. What? What are you talking about? What happened? What? No. Well, no. Well, this is more of an unrelated wait, thing. Wait, I want wait, to hear wait, about wait, this. Yeah. Wait. What are you talking about? You were like role playing animals before. Well, that's how I got my injuries. Oh. Well, obviously, this is a classic. My name's actually Mr. Fox. Please tell us more. My name is Astrid Willavale. Wolf. Never mind. <laughs> Um, right, so yes, uh, this is why I haven't been able to write because as you can see, I'm quite injured in the arms and haven't been able to hold a quill. To, mm. So I really appreciate you coming and talking for Palmas. Yes. I assume he's been very worried. Uh, I tried to get He sent to... us to come and check on uh, him. Did he get my letter? Yes. He got my letter? No, I can't remember. Did we? No. That's how we knew where. <clears throat> well, yeah, I, I tried to get remember. someone to send it, but I, I don't know if it went to the right address. Oh, I didn't... Maybe it didn't. He's been very worried that you haven't been writing. I'm not sure if that was before he got that letter and or after. I, I don't know if he got that letter and then it was too long since he got we, the letter. We might have, and then he we was might have left before he got it. Just right, well, yeah, well, I don't know if I've been able to get in contact. Either way, yes, I, I've been quite injured and um, yes, it's been rather unfortunate how it happened. Mm-hmm. I Role playing as animals, you said? Well, yeah, sort of. Yes, weirdly enough, if, if you are here and completely different, 
circumstance, that is kind of a coincidence. Uh, I was going to the Willembark Forest, which if we go to Elgorin map, it's this forest here. Willembark? Yeah, Willembark Forest. It's far. Uh, Willem de Fred. Willem de Forest. Um, well, Willem de Forest. That's dangerous territory. What were you doing around there? It is It is quite dangerous, but they, there's many <laughs> mushrooms and, and different plants that I, I sometimes... There's plenty of room, but I still don't see what you were doing there. No, no, there's quite a lot of uh, plants that I, I've been known to collect and, and sell because, you know, I'm just I'm a humble farmer and then wheat farming doesn't mm. earn a, a pretty penny. So yeah. sometimes I'll venture and... You know, get these mushrooms and that can be an entire year's worth of salary from one, you know, one trip. And um, as I was trip going... Trip on... No, just the trip to the Why? forest. No, a trip to the forest. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, you can trip off hands if there's like a, a vine on the ground or something. Right, okay. Gotcha. Not that... Which one were you thinking of, Rox? No, Rox, who's Rox? I'm Mr. Drox Fox. Okay. Anyway. Um, so we, I'm going to the forest. Oh, my arm's much better. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to the forest and, and I saw this sort of new cabin that I hadn't seen before, which is, I take the same route each time. I went about nine months ago or something. Mm. And so I wanted to check it out. You know, people create new little establishments all the time. So I thought maybe it was that. And as I turned up, there was uh, an older man dressed in uh, what I can only assume was a, a, a costume had a cape, had, had the word Beast Master written on his costume. Oh. He was saying things like, I am the Beast Master. Mm. Fear all of those. I will venge. I am the super villain of Corporeal. Which is very corporeal. Yeah, it's not a real place as far as I'm aware. It's, a, it's a made up, and I was so mm. confused. But they had with them, uh, they had with them a, a falcon, a, a wolf, and a bear. Well, that's wolf over there. No, you're. Well, that's why. Anyway, I, that's why I thought it was a, a taunt. I've definitely never heard of this before. It seems very new. I think it, I don't know, but it no, was very strange. Name was Mister Beast. No, Beast Master. Keep referring to himself in the third person as Beast Master. And then when I I was scared, and they said anyone who comes on my land is a scourge and will perish. And we're saying all this sort of very intense, but sort of flowery and dramatic language. And I, well, I went to leave, but I think in the you know, fear and anticipation of the wolf and the bear, they, they came for me and they, oh. they attacked me. Oh. Yes, I, I sort of managed to fight them off. But the strange thing was, well, as they were attacking me, he ran over and he was saying, stop and stop. And he helped subdue them with me. And, and after they stopped, you know, he apologized and I sort of ran away. But, you know, as I ran away, I could hear him say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But then after I... Was a good distance away. He went back to being, I'm the beast master, and anyone who comes on my lands will be will be terminated, will be destroyed. Right. It's a very strange incident. Yeah. Did he look again? Did he look deranged at all? Did, was it just a momentary uh, thing? That, like, no, he, he looked fabulously adorned. He had this beautiful costume, had goggles, and this very goggles. sequined cape, and this you know very well made and sort of silky. Costume, and you know, he had this bear and wolf and falcon, which were all. It was just know, those three animals, was it? Yes, seemingly under his control for the most part. Oh, yeah, that gets my goat. Right, I guess your goat. Yeah. Well, maybe those three would get a goat. So you might want to keep them safe. Well, absolutely. But I'll, hang on, what are you. They have a goat there as well. No, no, no. no just those. It's a, figure, it's a figure of speech, right? Yes. How many figures were there? Four. Four. Yes. Beastmaster, falcon, goat. And no, bear. not goat. Wolf and bear. Wolf and bear. Yes. And falcon and beastmaster. Yes. Those four. All right. Mm. Taunting me again? No, no. You're throwing your hands up in the air no. like you just no, don't I, care. I, I just when I care me. very much, when I do. It. I simply don't understand how you were able to knock back at us if you hand. I me. kicked it with my foot. And. So there was nothing. There was nothing else in the forest nearby. Did you notice any incantations? If I got to the forest, this is before the forest. Yeah, this was like a oh, just oh. in the plains on the way to the forest. Wow. Just in the plains. Yeah, no. just the cabin on the plains. As many, you know, people sort of create their own houses and things frequently. It just seems like one of those. No markings nearby. Just. Just a I didn't get very close. I sort of was walking up and. It's a pretty cool. 
you know, he walked, I was 60 meters away, and then this happened, and I, I was scared, so I was backing up, and wolves and bears are very fast, so they chased after mm-hmm. me, and they caught up, and, and only after they were subdued. I would have died if he hadn't stepped in. So he did end up pulling them back then. He yes, initially. very much so. Mm-hmm. That's why it was so strange that then he had this very sincere apology, he drops the voice, and then, you know, went back to say, I'm the beast master I, when I was within earshot, but quite far away. Should we maybe go talk to this beast master? Perhaps if if you've sustained a lot of damage, God knows what he could do to any other person that might pass through there. Might be an idea. Check on that. Well, I think we need to prioritize our tasks here. No offense, I think this is the, the top task, but I'll open it up to the group in terms of uh, this cube issue. I want to go and see the beast master. Yeah, I do too. He seems pretty cool. No offense. Okay. No, you did good... seem cool. I kind of get it. Well, that's why I was so intrigued. Exactly. Yeah. It does raise a good, you raise a good point, though. I'm probably be more interested in the cube, although you know, Puddle Mills is part of the Scrabble Club, and I don't want to disrespect. I'm <laughs> one with the beast. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, the cubes often just go anywhere. Well, they do seem to be on the move. How do you know? Well, from what was intimated to us. Oh, this shouldn't take. I mean, how long does it take to get to the? Um... The Willenbark Forest. Oh, the forest is over a day, but uh, you know, to get to the Beastmasters, maybe five, six hours. Well, I mean, what time is it now? It's all of five p.m. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I said. Yes. Okay. You're very good at telling the time, Mister Fox. Hi. Thank you. Uh, I usually use the sun. We are inside. <laughs> Are we? We were outside like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, bad memory, sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I, rec- I say we go see this Beastmaster and we try and get it done quickly and then we can go get Astro Box. Astro is a good point. We are very short on time to be able to catch these people. Um, I favour going to get the cube. Well, I favour going to see the Beastmaster. I favour going to see the Beastmaster. Should we split up? Maybe we play Dragon Chess for it. I can't play that. Oh, I have to recuse myself. I'm very good, and I feel like it would be a better. Uh, a better you play. Yeah. Then how do we decide? Do you think he's going anyway soon? I am unsure. It's been a month. I don't know if he's still there. I ran away, and I've what, been, what we what he's he's been, been healing inside of us. We'll end up wasting our time if he's not there. But we might it's see a beastmaster. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to rest up anyway, so maybe we check he's there and stay the night. We can camp. How far away? Five hours. Yeah, from here, yeah, five hours. But it's going to take us like an hour. They are in quite different directions. One's like up here. I think I know you guys know. One's up here somewhere. Maybe like three or four hours once I get to here, five hours. I would highly recommend considering the nature of the threat that was supposedly dealt on, on a fellow recruit in the academy and the two deaths that these people caused probably treat chasing these people with a high degree of priority. What about our friend here? They've obviously been quite injured by this Beastmaster. I feel like they deserve our assistance but it's been, as well. It's been a month, correct? Yes. Have you spoken to the authorities about it? Yes, yes, of course. I came back and I, you know, told them what happened to me. Did um, they go investigate? I, I think they went in and investigated, yes. I. I I, I don't think he was there at the time when they investigated, um, but I, I haven't really checked in with that. Like I said, I've been mainly be here. If some, that's something you want to do, you want to talk to some authorities or some people in town and, and find some more information, I, I would appreciate that. Um, but I don't know how that's progressed along, I'll be honest. Yeah. It seems like an ancillary matter, in my opinion. Puddlemelt would understand if well, we focus on the main guns. I didn't understand that word, but I still think I want to see the Beastmaster. Yeah, yeah. Why, oh, oh. why do you want to see the Beastmaster? Because he sounds kind of cool. He does <laughs> sound kind of cool. Maybe we'll go, Look what he's go, go up, get the cube first and come back. Yeah, but what if he's the gone? Beastmaster. Well, it's been a month, so it would be a big coincidence if he was... They happened to leave within the time that we got here and then went to find the cube. That's correct. I feel like a travelling band of adventurers with a precious... 
He's I am. The six. Yeah. The he's got a loot. The traveling loot. band of adventurers with some valuable loot. Loot? Yes. yes. <laughs> and the cube would be more likely to leave than a crazy person calling themselves Beastmaster in the forest. He might not be crazy. Seem pretty crazy to me. You could just be I don't a need to judge. Just be a Beastmaster. Well, then, even so, he's probably just. What would you like his to do? Don't ask Brox. You know not where Brox. it's going to go. Brox! <laughs> Brox! <laughs> I don't know who this Fox is you're referring to. I'm Mr. Fox. (laughs) And that's Mr. Jackal. Correct. And that's Mrs. Wolf. Once again, I I feel like these are taunts. And of course, when you refer to animals that have attacked me. Then I would be mad. I really, I'm struggling to think of a thing. Why? I just got divorced. Sorry. Do you think you just got divorced? Where, yeah. where did this happen? <laughs> Why was I invited to the marriage in the first place? I was invited to the divorce. If you can see, Mr. Well, okay, Mr. Fox is an attorney. Uh, well, I'll, I'm kind of leaning towards you now. They raise a good point. Do you ask Brox? I, I don't know who it. Brox is. I'm Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox raises a good point. Sorry. You yeah. keep, it sounds like you're saying Grox, which is my first name. Brox is probably some handsome fella, big and strong, tough guy somewhere else. Okay, Patrick, let's negotiate. Let us go get the cube. And on the way back, we can check in on the Beastmaster. And when we check in on Beastmaster, you can be the captain of Scrabble Club in this circumstance. It's not actually can I, written no, 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 in. No, 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 you don't no, have no, the no, pin, no. but we can pretend to wear Scrabble Club and you can leave. I will do it. If I get a chance to apply for Scrabble Club properly. Not him, just me. Who said I wasn't? I know you do. We can all see it. It's pretty It's, it's pretty awesome. It's Scrabble Club. <laughs> it's my secret shame. Okay. Crucify me. Deal. We're on you. Sorry, I had to Then we go get the key. That's all right. I need to negotiate. That's all right. Work Don't work worry, work. Mrs. Yeah. Margarine. I wasn't, but thank you. Okay, good. Anyway, I think we should. Um, we'll, retu- we'll return at some point um, with yeah. news of the Beastmaster. Oh, yeah. Great. Once again, I, well, thank you. If you could just go and tell Pottlemans Melt that I'm okay mm. and my letters might be a bit, yeah. uh, you know. No, we will check on the Beastmaster and report back to you. Oh, yeah, great. Well, well, that would be great if that could be resolved, but I'm less concerned. Just you know, tell my nephew that I. I'm injured and I won't be able to write as much, but I I am okay. We will do that. Good, Good work, Box. I see. Yeah, I used to be a postal service. Okay. Um, do you have a piece of paper and pen? I can quickly write a note for you if you want to scribe, and then I can post it before we go get the cube. I would I would love that. In yes. case one of these guys get injured and we just spend a bit of extra time. Can you send it? Yes, that would be wonderful. Actually, thank you. I mean, you can write. Come to. Yeah, but I don't want to. Well, I'm going to scribe because she's broken both of her arms. I'm tired. Well, I played a lot of guitar yesterday. I mean, I feel like I can't even sleep. <laughs> you want to hire this well, diva? No. Okay, we get you jealous. It wasn't, huh? it wasn't body, it was the other. Never mind. Um, what would you like to say? Oh, dear, my dearest Puddle Melt. I am feeling ever so down. Why are you just scribbling in the air? You're not writing anything. How dare I thought this was a sincere offer. First you come in with names of the attackers of me. (laughs) My (laughs) dearest Dear Uh, My dearest Is Puddle Milt a deer? No. Puddle Milt. You met Puddle Milt. You met Yes, why is it human? Yes. Okay, human, my dear. No, no, no. Human, my dear. Just verbatim, verbatim. My dearest Puddle Melt. You're a very fast writer, so I'll be able to say it and you'll be able to stenographer this. My dearest... Oh, I remember. Yep. My dearest Puddle Melt, I am ever so down for the fact that a bear and a wolf attacked my arms. Oh no! What a day it was. A bad day, in fact. Some crazed man called the Beastmaster. He was looking fly. I thought you have been talking a lot about your fashion styles lately, so you could take notes if we do manage to get any sort of 
pictorial real evidence. By the way, congratulations on making captain for Scrabble Club. It's so very impressive. You deserve it a lot. By the way, I've met your friends and they seem well cool, especially that Astrid. She's good material. But that is going to be error that was I definitely wrote this. Brackets. And I'll do a secret phrase so he knows I wrote it. You have to write trust and I'll me. do a secret phrase so that I know he'll Sorry, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Just write a secret Brackets, phrase. trust me. That way he knows it's me. Love. That way he knows it's me. That love your aunt, Mazdam Mandarine. I think you should read it back just so we know you got it. Yeah, could you please read that back? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you wrote it so well, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Absolutely. Start off with mm, verbatim. Human <laughs> 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 verbatim. Verbatim. Dear my dearest puddle melt. Yeah. I am incapacitated. I can't write a letter. Something about Scrabble Club. Lots of love. Well done, making captain. Um, bear, wolf. It's worth the word. Falcon. Oh. Astrid is the coolest person ever. I can't believe she was your captain. That's really awesome. I bet you learned a lot from her. I heard that she is the best rogue in Corlax. Trust me, I wrote that myself. Love your aunt. Awesome, yeah, that sounds exactly like it. Perfect, yeah, well. Yeah. 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 Ah! Oh, yeah, please don't. <laughs> don't do that for your wrist. <laughs> 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 Wonderful, thank you. Uh, and should we end episode one there? Um, you guys, oh, have you got your Beastmaster yes, mission? Beast you can master. post it in, I guess, the break, episode two, whatever. And you guys have your Beastmaster mission that you're uh, postponing for now. You can do continue to endeavor to look <coughs> into the queue. Post. Oh, my application for Scrabble Club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so and that's it. Like, Damn it. <laughs> Rough. That's, but that's quick return. That's quick return. That's something good. Like, bureaucracy. It's amazing. Oh, it's a lot. You can auto-reply. Like, yeah. um, awesome. Thank you so much for watching episode one. We will be back with episode two next week. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, check out the prologue as well if you want. But you can just power straight on to episode two. And we will be yeah. back. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's so impressive you got all of that down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, wrote all of it. Well. We will see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.